Hi, baby. <laughs> I feel so weird. I don't feel bad. Lo, hadi, bekalim. I'm just staring into the camera, like the lens. Oh, bekalim nasi. But I really wanted to do more of these talking videos. Hasa, you get to know me, get to know my personality, actor. So, actor, so en nes bis aluni. Nani men, what makeup brushes do I buy? Uh, it's either like you're just starting out. The subtlety for makeup, why is it shitty brushes? Or and the kit nintelata, why is it kamili alihum? So I thought I'd do a video of my top 10 makeup brushes. Nana, I can't live without. And yani, I recommend these to anyone just starting out or you want to add something to your collection. Um, let's jump right into the video. So I've loved today with all my brushes. I want to talk about makeup brush brands. So everyone knows the MAC brushes, um, Sigma brushes, like the really high-end brushes that everyone buys and they're really, really good. And I personally love MAC brushes, but sometimes I feel like I can get a dupe, yani a copy of it for a much, much lower price. So some brands I can talk about, of course, MAC is so all their brushes are really, really good, but they are very expensive. Someone who's just starting out, or listen, yani if you want to makeup, you don't want to spend a lot of in makeup brushes, or at least me, yani if I was just starting out, I wouldn't want to spend so much money on makeup brushes. No one else is about to So I'm gonna get to buy other brands that have very high quality and the price is very good. So one of the first brands I'm gonna talk about. I'm not paid. I'm not sponsored. No one's telling me that I have to talk about these products. Yani, this is all that it's my personal opinion. I get to grab them and I really, really believe in these brands. For so our brand, I'm gonna talk about it's Morphe brushes. So Morphe brushes are an online store. We buy very very high quality brushes, but the price them is nice. I also look at brushes. I them from them. Yani starting from two dollars all the way up to, for example, twenty twenty five dollars, but depending on the brush. So I get a lot of my eye brushes from there because they're so 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 affordable. The quality is nice. Yani I think the quality here here is a Mac. That's why I buy the Mac brushes and the Mac Morphe. Another really really good brand of brushes and Homa is Mahom Real Techniques. So Homa is like this So these kind of have like a bronzy copper or um, a pink candle. I think they have some other colors too, but they mainly yani the main shape of them is like this. So أول حاجة هكلم عنها and this is my number one tool for makeup it is the Beauty Blender. My very 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 dirty Beauty Blender. <laughs> Um, sorry, they're dirty. They are supposed to be black by fashion. I just used it fashion because they have foundation and concealer on them. But this tool, first of all, lean, lean, and then they're not the same size. These are both the same beauty blender. This is the pro one, the black one. Um, I don't think there's any difference. Yeah, I've tried the pink one and here the original one, but generally I just like the black one in general. Um, so this is the size that hair tiki fiha when it's dry, and then when you put it it comes this bigger, squishier size. So you basically put it under the hood, you just squeeze it under, and you squeeze all the moisture, put a tissue around it, squeeze it excess moisture, and then you use it to blend in your liquids. So why I love the beauty blender, I say it's a necessity in anyone's makeup uh, bag or collection, is because it's just it blends your foundation. Because it makes your skin it looks so flawless, it blends everything. And it's very nice for people who are very thin and they put too much makeup. The beauty blender will pick up a excess product in your face. So if you have a foundation foundation and you're like worried, just use your beauty blender. It will pick up a thing and it will leave a more natural finish on the skin. So the beauty blender definitely my number one pick when it comes to my makeup tools. Okay, so brush number two after I've used my beauty blender, I have a bronze my face because usually when you put your foundation, it tastes wish it could flat. So you want to bring dimension and some color back into your face. So I like to use a bronzer. And with that bronzer, I like to use a big fluffy bronzer brush. This is the Morphe M527. Yani, in it's huge. Mac have one. I think it's called the M35. I'm mish with akida bezabt. I'll leave it down below, Bardo. So Mac have one, but this is kind of the cheaper version. Yani, look how big this is. It just covers my whole face, and it just it's so nice. One of baggy eyes, I bronze my face really quickly. But it does this perfectly. For now, this brush is really, really good. Lo and a powder to the lahin or a haga, and you just kind of wanna sweep it all away. So for bronzer or powder, I would definitely go with the Morphe M527. So by my bronze my skin, I wanna contour. 
For the contour brush, I like to use the Real Techniques contour brush. For this is has a shape to her. It's perfect for like really getting into my my like hollows of my cheek. I contour. It's perfect for my forehead and for my jawline. My next face brush is also from Real Techniques. It is the Real Techniques setting brush. And I never see but brush D when I want to highlight my face. So I glow into shafino that this is what I use. I just feel like it's such a perfect shape but do not say it's kind of fluffy but it's not any it's fluffy but mask and stuff and I said what but it's perfect for blending in and any highlighted areas. I believe I started using it as a highlighter brush could have a cinema to set under my eye or to brush away any powder to the line. It's very very good but do not say it is a setting brush as a mamul al hatta di um, but I'll probably have to buy another one actually it always has like glitter if you have for obviously I'm trying to start them up in Afslaheiga okay so this brush this blush brush is from Morphe Bardu this is the Morphe E4 and it is my blush brush if I use it and then I put it in the blush um, I love the shape of it it kind of has like an angle to it my face is very round so I like to put my blush up where some people instead of putting it in the middle I mean you can do the same with this blush brush but the shape of it is more than I want to put blush in the place I want so it just fits perfectly in the place I want to put the blush so that's why I love it so much so the last brush for the face is my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder slash blush brush the, the F15 so this is what it looks like Laura it kind of has like looks like a baby hedgehog and it has gaps in between it this brush is like I, I call it my corrector brush and if I put a hole on my face I had too much powder or too much blush which I usually do all the time put too much bronzer a hega I use this brush and then I kind of go in circles and it kind of but the amount of blush that I put on it or diffuse the color more so you don't feel it's so harsh, so in your face so I just use this and it kind of blends everything together even it's really nice when you finish your bronzer, your contour, your brush, your highlight we kind of go over everything together and it just makes everything kind of go in between sorry for the barking that Duke, my dog why do you got a human damn video? <laughs> now I'll go on to my favorite eye brushes. I remember that to help with makeup. I wanted to get into eyeshadow, I get deep. So I invested in three brushes from Sigma. Um, a fluffy brush, a smaller fluffy brush, and like a flat shadow brush. So let me start with eye brushes. So one of the three brushes I could look at is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. This is a large fluffy brush. You know, I show you in my tutorials whenever I say get a large fluffy brush. This is what I mean. So, the brush D. This is what I use for the crease of the eye, for it's to make the transition color. For now, so what it said, I will feel blending. For there's no harsh lines on your eye. This larger fluffy brush is, I think, one of the necessities that you need to get when you're doing your eye makeup. And then I recommend this is the Sigma one. But I know Morphe have one which I don't have, so I'll probably buy as a backup. Morphe have a very similar brush to this one. I'll list other alternatives down below in the comments. Of course, MAC has one, Sigma has one. Everyone has this just kind of the staple piece, like a staple brush in anyone's eye collection for brushes. Okay, so tiny brush is the smaller fluffy brush. Mine's a bit dirty. This one is Bardo. I talk about it in my um, tutorials. This one I go in and I deepen the crease octal, um, and it's really good for smoking out a lower lash line. For the big one, it kind of makes the diffuse color, and this one goes in and deepens that color. For this is the Mac Two Two Seventeen. So the two dual are perfect for blending out and adding definition into your crease. So that's kind of what I use for that dark. Dark brown. Okay, so the next brush I am going is a pencil brush. This isn't a typical pencil brush. Yani the ones that I've had, like the ones from Mac and stuff, are more like harder and more dense. Um, this is more fluffy, but I kind of like this one more. It's not so tough, alaini. This is the Morphe E18 brush. So let me just show you that. 
So I use the brush tea mainly to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'll get my eyeshadow and just kind of keep smoking it out. Um, also, the hello awi lo masan you want to add a pop of color in your inner corner. Its shape, with size, taha, it makes it perfect lil hagi. Okay, so last but not least is a angle brush. Kana hagish shwaya. My last brush, I kind of have two options. Yani it's they're both angled brushes, but I have two different options. This is the Morphe R45. So this brush, I use it when I'm doing gel eyeliner. It's very, very stiff, but it makes a very, very precise line when I use it. Perfect Bardo, I also use it for my inner my inner waterline, la maiza kama el waterline. But my other angle brush, which was such a random thing, it's my Samir Ali. <laughs> Angelo 840 paintbrush. This is much longer. It's very soft. The hair is tight, soft, awi. And you can see I can just kind of break into it. Woody, I use it with when I'm trying to draw a winged eyeliner, but with eyeshadow. I love this brush. I use it, yani masan, if I want to draw a precise line at my like my waterline. I use it for that. I use it to draw winged eyeliner with eyeshadow. I use it for so many, so many things. It's perfect with eyeshadow. It blends really, really, really well. Um, I use this brush for uh, to twirl my easy matte smoky eye. Hello, Awi for matte eyeshadows. Bizet. So I think you should get it. Can khisa Awi taban shvaka sarak and kam shleta min sana nos. Let's try it out. Ruhus mino Ali. Pick up a brush. You'll be surprised. Bil hagat and ti mukat leiha at the art store. <laughs> so that's it. Those are my top 10 brushes that I would recommend that I had just starting out with makeup. Oh, I would have to on their makeup brushes that they already have. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this type of video. It's not like a voiceover. It's not like recording and me how to shoot for the video. I think you have to do to know my personality and to know me and kind of like how weird I am and how awkward I am. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, hey hi guys, please leave it in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope I'll see you guys in my next one.